Hey everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Lee Dixon and today I'm transforming into David Bowie. I'm starting off by doing a brow block. To do this, I'm taking an Elmer's School glue stick and pressing that onto my eyebrows. This is a water soluble glue, which means that it'll wash off easily after I'm done. I'm taking a clean mascara spoolie brush and brushing those brows up onto my skin, trying to get my hair as flat as possible. And then using a blow dryer, I'm drying in between every layer of glue that I apply. This takes multiple layers and it can be a bit of a finicky process. I also like to use a spatula to put on some extra thick layers to cover up all of that hair. The darker your hair is and the thicker it is, the more layers you're going to need. Make sure to have that Beyonce moment with your blow dryer. Once I was happy with the brow block, I switched into using a foundation. This is a pretty sheer to medium coverage one, and I'm applying that all over the face, including over top of that brow block, actually putting the product a little bit thicker over where those brows are and concentrating the application there. Honestly, brow blocks can be pretty tricky to do, so if you're gonna do this for Halloween or event, I would recommend doing a trial run beforehand. Taking a slightly fuller coverage foundation, I'm applying that right on top of the brows as well as to other areas of my face that I felt like needed a little bit more coverage. With a white cream foundation, I'm beginning to highlight. Now for this, I was referencing a photo of David Bowie because I wanted to try and make my face look as much like him as I possibly can. So I'm highlighting all of the areas that I could see in the photo stood out a little bit more on his face and were predominantly featured. I kind of look a little bit like David Bowie anyways, so to be honest, this wasn't as hard as it should have been. I'm using the same foundation brush that I used prior to blend everything out and then adding a little bit more white foundation just to the areas that I feel like I really wanted to bring forward. I also applied this on my neck and kind of tried to make it look a little bit like I had an Adam's apple because why not? We're doing full Bowie and uh, I want it to look as realistic as possible. To begin the contour, I'm actually using a pinky toned lipstick. This is really great when you're doing a costume contour because most people have lipsticks kicking around and this one in particular really went with the 80s color vibe from the David Bowie photo that I was referencing anyways. So it's just sort of a cheap alternative to buying an expensive cream product when you don't have to. Again, I was referencing the photo, so I was just putting that product everywhere that I could see shadows on David Bowie's face. And then I jumped straight into using some eyeshadows on top of that to set. This does a couple of things. It just deepens up the shadows a little bit more as well as blend and set that cream product. I switched into using a darker pink tone and I applied this very, very, very lightly onto the deepest parts to create some depth. I also tried to change the shape of my eyelids a little bit because his eyelids are differently shaped than mine. Once I was happy with this whole face, I set it with a loose translucent setting powder. I covered everything. My whole face, my neck, I set it all. Okay, so now we get to the fun part. To do the lightning bolt, I used water activated colors. So with this, you have to mix water in for the paint to work. And taking a very small liner brush, are you holding your breath? Because I was totally holding my breath doing this. I began building up really fine lines to create that shape. This took a while, I'm not gonna lie. This, this took a lot of patience to do. And especially with looking at the photo, I wanted to make sure to get it as perfect as possible. And then I filled the whole lightning bolt in with the same red product. I really, really, really liked this water activated paint because it dried quickly, but it also didn't get flaky because a lot of water activated paints get flaky. Anyways, I then took a red eyeshadow and blended out the areas closest to my eyes as well as that top eyebrow section of the lightning bolt. Using a blue shade of the same water activated product, I'm creating the outline of that lightning bolt and filling it in. Again, this was just a finicky, time consuming step. I cannot recommend enough using a really small liner brush for something like this. Okay, so I know the original did not have glitter on it, but I figured I would put my own little fun twist and apply some glitter. So I mixed a glitter adhesive and a red glitter off camera and then applied that directly on top. 
and then did the exact same with a blue glitter as well. I mean, if you're doing this costume, how fun would this look at a party? Imagine being on the dance floor and the light hitting that glitter and it's sparkling. It would just be sensational. I then applied mascara to my upper and lower lashes and finished the look off with a very neutral grayish shade lip liner. I also tried to underdraw my lips a little bit just because David Bowie's lips are thinner than mine, quite a bit thinner than mine. So I wanted to make them look smaller. And then I put on a metallic-y, strobe-esque lip gloss because his lips looked metallic as hell. And that's it. That's my finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel here on YouTube. Bye!